guys welcome to online web tutor i am sanjay we are learning laravel 8 framework tutorial this is our part number 22 inside this video we are going to do the continuation of part number 21 and inside that video we had discussed all about database basic raw queries and also guys if you are looking up the blog articles of cake php 4 code igniter 4 mysql node.js then you must visit this blogging website inside this blogging website we have several categories with interesting blog articles if i back to browser now here as we can see that we have a category section and inside this category section we have several different different categories also inside this home page we should see all about recently posted blog articles and here inside this blogging community there is also a newly added section called create an article this is for the guest post publication back to the topic inside last video we had discussed all about the select method as well as the insert method of tv class inside this video we will discuss all about update as well as the delete method so back to editor so these are the methods called get underscore users as well as insert underscore user we have created inside last video so without wasting any time let's create our third method for updating data so public function let's say update underscore user and inside this we are going to use the third method of db class that is update method so let's say user equal to db and this db class contains a update method the intelligence says that the first we need to pass the query inside second we need to pass the bindings so go here and inside this first let's say that if i back to table inside our table underscore users we have three different data so let's say i'm going to update this first row I will update this email value on the basis of this IT value back to editor here we need to provide the raw query of update so update next we need to pass the table name so tbl underscore users next we need to use the set keyword it means we are, we are setting our updated value so set email equals to here we need to provide the question mark in the last video also we had discussed the concept of bindings so this is for the dynamic placeholder value so email equal to question mark where it equal to question mark it means we will pass two values in the second as the binding value for this email address and for this id so i am creating an array and inside this array the first value we need to pass the email address So this is updated email of that user and in the second we are passing the id value so automatically when we run this query this value is going to attach here with this question mark and run that now let's print all about the returned value of this print uh, means we are storing inside this user variable save these changes back to web.php because we need to create a route so let's route get and here let's say update hyphen user this is all about we have site controller it's a class and inside this class we have the method as update underscore user so if i copy and pasting it here so save all these changes copy this route back to browser and if i open here update hyphen user the returned value equals to 1 it means our query has updated the first row of that table back to table reload this page and if we go inside this table so as we can see that we have updated the email address on the basis of this id value also in case of this question mark as we had discussed inside last video if we want to use some named binding parameter so simply let's say that this is all about 
email address this is a named placeholder and here if we pass id so instead of that what i will do here we need to pass the email address because this time we have used all about the dynamic placeholder this is named parameter so when we run this query this value is going to attach with this key and this key will replace this name type of binding parameter and also in case of this id let's id equals to and this time we are going to update the second row of this table so here inside this email address if i write something this is the updated value save these changes go and reload this page it has returned the one value it means successfully our query has run go and reload this page and as we can see that the updated value takes place in case of email value on the basis of this it equals to 2 so this is all about running update query now at last we will discuss the delete query so it's a public function delete underscore user and we will use the delete method of db class so db and inside this we have delete method again we need to pass the query and the binding parameter so we need to write our raw query of delete so delete from we need to pass the table name so tbl underscore users if we want to delete all the data simply we need to run this query but when we want to delete a specific record we need to pass the where condition so delete from tbl users let's say where id passing a named parameter so id here and we are passing let's say id equals to 3 it means the row id equals to 3 will be deleted from this tbl underscore users table so let's store the return value inside this user variable simply we are going to print it here save these changes back to web.php to create a route for this delete method so let's route cat and here we have let's delete hyphen user we are using the site controller it's a class and inside from this site controller we are using delete underscore user method so if we save copy this route back to browser pasting it here the returned value equals to 1 it means successfully our query has been executed back to table reload this page and the third row has been deleted so successfully guys by the help of our last video and the current video we have completed few methods of db class that is all about select update delete as well as insert so this is the starting initial queries of laravel by the help of this db class we have executed now from the next video we will discuss some migration concept some serious concept also we will see that by the help of migration how can we create the dynamic table structure because in the last video to create this tbl underscore users we have simply used the manual tool of this php my admin but in the case of development of large project in laravel this is not the recommended approach we need to create a proper table structure by the help of migrations so what is migration how can we create migrations and how can we use and load inside our application these all things we will discuss from the next video so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day